Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back, dear students. Today we will uh, discuss taper turning using tail offset method. So in this lecture, I am going to derive formula for taper turning using tail offset method. The uh, ob objective will be our first uh, part of this lecture. Then we will discuss certain safety precautions, then theoretical break background, and then we will derive mathematical derivation for this uh, tail offset method. And at the end, I will discuss certain procedure as well. So the title of the experiment is uh, taper turning using tail offset method or it is also known as set over method. So objective of this uh, experiment is to understand the taper turning using set over method or tail offset method. So in this uh, uh, experiment you will understand how you will produce a tapered part using set over method or tail stop tail stock uh, tail stock offset method the second objective of this uh, experiment is to understand the terminologies and term associated with set over turning so you will learn different terminology that is, that will be used in this experiment and third objective is to learn about the machine component involved in set over taper turning so this is a little bit uh, background or objective of this uh, tail stock methods or uh, tail stock offset method the tool that are used in this experiment is that we will have a lathe machine then we will also have vernier caliper meat measuring ruler or um, we will have a workpiece that is made of steel mild steel or any material that is available in the workshop and the cutting tool before going or before performing the lab experiment every student should be know about the safety precautions that are involved in during the experiment so here are certain minimum number of precautions that is given you can also check it over internet or the brochures or chart that are available in your lab so wear the appropriate apron and glasses while performing on any machine or lathe make sure the job and tool are properly fixed and before turning turning on the lathe machine any entanglement hazard should be properly checked and removed complete all paperwork before starting the machine or turning on the lathe machine electrical hazard should be considered and in case of any emergency or accident immediately inform the instructor and always perform the experiment before uh, in front of instructor or the lab uh, person that is available over there okay so we will move towards set of methods or set over method so in this method you can see that uh, the taper turning by this method is to shift the axis of rotation of the workpiece at an angle to the lathe axis and the feeding the tool parallel to the lathe axis so in this figure you can see that this is the live center clear so this is the live center and it this is the dead center and the workpiece that is mounted between these two center and you can see that this live center and this is dead center are tail stock so you can see the center of the work initial center of the workpiece was this one and the tail stock or dead center is offset it through this much distance so this much distance and due to this offset distance the new axis of this workpiece will be this and this is that half tapered angle so again the taper turning by this method is to shift the axis of rotation of the workpiece at an angle to the lathe axis and feeding the tool parallel to the axis lathe so this is the um, cutting tool you can see you have to feed this tool in this direction and that will be parallel to the axis of the uh, sorry parallel to this axis of the uh, work piece clear so this uh, the angle at which the axis of rotation of work piece is shifted is equal to half tapered angle so this axis is shifted from these two 
this axis and this angle is known as half tapered angle this is done when the body of the lay tail stock is made to slide on its base toward away from the operator by a set over screw in the uh, as in the figure so this tail stock can be offset by a screw that will be available over here in machine i will show you while we perform the experiment and using this screw you can move this tail stock or dead center to to toward the operator or away from the operators clear so in this way the tail stock is offset so this method is used for turning small tapers over a long jaw now we will move toward derivation mathematical derivation how you will find the uh, set over distance so let me draw let's say for example this was let's say dead center and initial having axis this one clear and this is you sorry live center and this is your dead center so work piece was like that this type you can see over here clear so initial both the axes are in line when you join this dead x center and live center they will meet at a point clear now let this is the total length of the work piece for example this is the total length of work piece and it is represented as capital l and this is the small l is the length over which uh, we will perform the turning operation this small d is the uh, this small d is the diameter uh, 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 smaller diameter of taper part and this is the larger diameter of taper part now the question is that how much we will move this tail stock or uh, dead center so that we can get our desired uh, taper part so again this was initial thing when you move this dead center or when you move or offset this center to toward this for example let this so again this axis will also shift and the part will also shift that is represented over here so this is live center this is dead center this is the total length of the work piece that is represented over here you can see from this uh, dead live center to till another point on the dead center there, this is the total length this is small l which is the tapered length so again we will perform tapering over for this length this is the small diameter of the tapered part and this is the larger diameter of tapered part so initial this axis was initial this was the axis when you sh move this dead center or tail stock to certain distance that is s given as s clear so we are interested to find out what will be the value of s so we will see in a while that how can we calculate this distance s and when you shift this axis to another axis or when you move set offset this dead center to a new location and we move it through a distance s so the new center will be this one now the angle through which this initial original axis was shifted to a new is known as alpha and this is known as half tapered angle so we are interested to find out delta uh, s so how we will find s so again i will draw over here so from point a if i draw a line solid line till point b and from point a to point c i will draw a solid line there and from point b to point c i will draw a perpendicular line so it will be triangle a b c with angle alpha again clear so as we know that sin of alpha is equal to bc over ab clear so bc is bc is this distance s 
so I will write B C S S clear and A B is the A B is the total length which is capital N clear so implies that I will get this S which is offset or set over this S distance is known as set over clear or offset distance so this S will be equal to L into sine of alpha again if this alpha is very small so if alpha is very very small so from mathematics you know that sine of alpha will approximately equal to tangent of alpha so we will let this is equation one so put in one we will get s is equal to l into tangent of alpha now this l now you know that this tangent of alpha from our previous derivation for finding half tapered angle this tangent of alpha is equal to d minus d divided by 2l clear so we will get a formula s is equal to l into d minus d divided by 2l so this is the formula for finding out the set over distance so again you can see this capital L is total length of the workpiece D is the larger diameter of the tapered part and small d is the smallest diameter of the tapered part and L is the tapered length clear so if you have a workpiece for example this is the workpiece clear having this axis and if you want to perform this is the total length of the workpiece clear and if you want to perform the taper turning over this length for example this length is small l and you want to keep the diameter same as capital D clear the same as workpiece and here you want a diameter of 0 so for example if you want to produce this type part this type tapered part so at the end this d will be equal to 0 or if you do not want here d so there will be a small diameter clear so in this scenario for offsetting the tail stock so you will use this formula s is equal to l into d minus d divided by 2l where capital l is the total length and small n length is the tapered length clear again so if you have the same part clear and you want to perform the tapering over entire length for example this is your capital D clear and you want to taper it throughout its length and this is total length L and if you want to have a zero diameter over here or certain some diameter for example let this is the smaller diameter clear so you want to produce a tapered part like that so again you will remove this material clear I will sh show you this if you want to remove this material so you will get a tapered part like this clear this will be out the outer diameter this will be smaller diameter this is the total length L as well as length tapered length so in this scenario a in this scenario if tapered length is become equal to total length of the workpiece so you will put l over here instead of this l i will write it l into d minus d divided by 2 so if total tapered length is equal to total length so it will be again l so l l will be cut out so we will get s is equal to d minus d divided by 2 so set over distance will be calculated by using this formula and this formula is valid when the total length of the workpiece is equal to the tapered length so you will use this formula and if the tapered length of the workpiece is not equal to total length of the workpiece clear so you will use this formula I hope it is clear to you now so depending on the situation you will use 
either this formula or this again i will repeat it this formula is only valid when you will have a work piece of total length l and you want to turn taper you want to perform taper turning over certain length which is small l so you will use this formula and if you want to turn taper taper the part over the entire length of the work piece so again you will use this formula s is equal to d minus d divided by 2 once you get this distance then this is the same thing which is derivation over here so set over distance for l is equal to for l is equal to small l so you will have a set over distance as d minus d divided by 2l clear the procedure will be that after uh, getting the value of set over uh, then uh, the procedure is that if first of all you will uh, you will fix the work piece between the uh, live center and dead center of the lathe machine and the work piece will be hold by using a dog clutch instead of three jaws self center chuck when uh, you uh, again uh, after fixing the work piece in the dog clutch by using formula you will get the value of tail offset for example if s is equal to d minus d divided by 2 and let if you have a work piece clear and that is having diameter d is equal to 50 mm and here it is the diameter is d is 20 mm and the length is for example 100 total you want to perform the taper on entire length so s will be equal to 50 minus 20 divided by 100 so it will be equal to uh, 30 over 100 means uh, 0 will be 0 and 3 by 10 so it means 0.3 mm so you will have to move the tail stock over 0.3 mm when you will set the uh, tail stock by 0.3 mm so again it the axis will be no more it will be a certain offset clear so let's say this the new position of the workpiece will be this and the axis will also shift and this will be your distance s over which you have shifted the tail stock then you will perform the experiment with the cutting tool that will move parallel to the axis of rotation of the workpiece and you will perform this experiment again and again uh, till you get your desired uh, dimensions remember that whenever you perform the experiment you will have a certain depth of cut and after certain after that depth of cut with complete one complete cycle you have to measure the and by using vernier caliper and then according to the difference needed you will also give again a depth of cut and you will perform the experiments this process will go on until you get your desired dimension at the both end clear so i hope this will be clear to you now we will perform experiment regarding the tail offset method in our classroom soon Thank you for watching the video.